Hey yo, welcome back, back everyone. This is the Grand Celestial here with another episode of the review for Atari Greatest Hits Volume 1. Bro, I ended the vi video by discussing for briefly of what I'm going to do for the next episode is play soccer. So that's what it is. You're three, three players. Yeah, you're you're the uh, that brown brown team is you. And you're supposed the objective here, like any other soccer game, is to hit hit the ball, man, kick the ball into the goal. Can't seem to get it in the goal. Isn't that? And th this isn't too hard of a game. Also, uh, in the direction you are ki kicking, you have to press up to kick forward or down to kick the other way. Okay, this is re really tr tricky, especially with him. Especially that goalie. I mean that goalie's really really good at blocking. Yeah, I'm pl playing this on a no novice level, and already it's getting tricky. Man, my hands are getting sore right here. This game game isn't bad, bad, but so uh, right. Yeah, it gets. Yeah, as I said, it gets really tricky. Can't even make one score. So no, uh, so I've uh, wasted a lot of time playing this game. And I'm still in the C section. Dodge him. The objective of the game is you're supposed to get these little, little dots without cr crashing into the other vehicle. Ah, oh, there. That's all it is. I can't get the feel of the movement. There, there's, there isn't much for me to say, say about this. It, well, well, this, well, this game is kind of bad. It isn't ter terrible. It's just bad to play. Flag capture. The this one is just random. Yeah, you're supposed to follow the arrows, avoid bombs. I'm just playing a random mode here. Alright, where's that flag? Alright. Yeah, when it makes that irritating uh, sound and you see, see a green flag, you find a flag. What other game modes are there? There's two players. A lot of two player modes. Alright, here it is. Uh, one player stationary flag. Okay, uh, mo mode 8 is a lot easier. Let's try to try the flag bouncing on all edges. It's 
game kind of reminds me of Minesweeper. Oh, here we go. We found the flag. Yeah, you just move, move around, press the A button to pick which panel has the flag. You just see your arrows. You're supposed to follow where these arrows go. Sometimes you just go into a death trap and you start all over. This game is relatively decent football. Not sure how this is played. Alright, so I got a little further. Alright, touchdown. Can I, uh, I have to carry the ball or do I have to block these guys? Okay, this one is really, really hard to comment on. You, you just gotta, you beat a running back carrying the ball to the goal and as for the defense, I really don't understand how that works. I guess you're supposed to be this red. Red team, yeah, they look brown, but they're supposed to be red. And you're supposed to, now I get them. Or I blocked them. Oh, all right there. Okay, this is starting to become relatively fun. So I'm uh, winning so so far. I think I had uh, enough uh, fun. Up. You just move move around and prep. And when when coming up with a strategy, you just pr press it A to get get started with whether you're on the offense or defense or offense. If you yeah, you just carry the f football to the goal. The defense you just prevent those white players from uh, reaching the goal, which is uh, all the way up there. Okay, I'm clean this game right now. <clears throat> Fun with numbers. I have. I know enough to time to play this game. All right, so you're supposed to play a little math game. I mean, the the this is a kind of math children should should learn, like for homeschool. Mean that they don't even need to go go to school to lo learn like a uh, the addition. There's also m modes for gameplay like subtraction, multiplication, and division. Random addition in every category is random. There's really not much to say. It's just math. And but before I end this video, I just want to say that ne next episode, well, I'm gonna play some Gravitz Hard, uh, or the 2600 version. So stay tuned.